Hello everybody, uh, you're all very welcome. I hope that everyone is still all okay at home and you're staying healthy and well. So for this practice I'm going to do again about 20 minutes. We're going to focus on the upper part of the body, so that will include the neck, the head, the shoulders, the arms and the wrists. Um, it's suitable for most people, so let's go ahead and get started. So for this class you're going to need a belt if you have one. You can use an ordinary uh, trouser belt or if you don't have that you can use a scarf. You might also like to have a blanket for sitting on. So we're going to begin in child's pose. So let's make ourselves comfortable. You can have the knees together or the knees wide. You're going to allow your arms to stay reaching out in front of you for this child's pose. Work your belly right down onto your thighs, your hips right back towards your heels your forehead all the way down onto the floor. And just take a moment there in preparation, allowing the air to travel in and out of your nose, giving your belly permission to move as you breathe. And when you feel that your breath is nice and steady and comfortable, then we're going to begin our practice of movement. So taking your time to press down into your hands to slowly rise up into all fours. Go ahead and check that your knees are directly underneath your hips, your hands are directly underneath your shoulders. Can you spread out your fingers nice and wide? Can you gently draw your chin in? I'm going to begin by just rocking forwards and backwards on your mat, just sensing how the wrists, the arms, the shoulders are feeling. And the next time that the shoulders position above the wrist, you're going to pause. Take your time then to gently rotate your fingers out to the sides of your mat. You can stay there or choose to rotate your fingers back towards your knees. And only now if you have your fingers pointing towards your knees, would you try the next move where you're just going to rock once again forwards and backwards. Being careful in this position not to overstretch. The next time the shoulders position above the wrists, you'll take a moment to be still. And from that still position, you'll gently rotate the fingers back out to the sides of your mat, and then all the way forwards. Once your fingers are facing all the way forward, you'll press extra weight into the right hand as you work over onto the left knuckles, the left fingernails. Can you work especially into the left thumbnail, spreading the fingers nice and wide. After one more breath, work back over onto the left palm. All the weight is in the left hand as you gently hover the right and work over onto the right knuckles and fingernails. Paying particular attention to the right thumbnail, spreading out the fingers nicely. And eventually working right back over onto the right palm. Take the weight in the right hand as you begin to hover the left and then being careful as you slowly slide the left hand in behind the right wrist bending the right elbow working the whole left outer arm and the left side of the face to the mat. Notice the upper back in this position, the shoulders, is there any compression in the neck? And if you're feeling uncomfortable, just pull back out of it. And then we press into the right hand and gently bring the left hand back into position. Take all the weight into the left hand as you hover the right. Sliding the right hand in behind the left wrist, bending the left elbow as you go. Working the whole right outer arm to the floor right side of the face of the mat and again just paying attention to how you're feeling and pulling back if it feels in any way uncomfortable. After one more breath gently pressing into that left hand bring the right hand back into position and from here can you gently work down onto the elbows and the forearms. Just take note of the height of your hips so try to keep your hips directly above your knees if you can. Begin to 
open your elbows out. You can take your thumb and first finger into the downward facing triangle. And as your elbows splay out to the side, you're working your chest in the direction of the mat. Try to feel your armpit squeeze back towards your hips. Notice where you're feeling the most work and try to gently breathe into that space. No tension, no strain. And then gently turning your head to look in the opposite direction. A few rounds of breath there. Before you gently ease your body out of this position by releasing your hips right back towards your heels. And then peel your palms and your forearms up. Work the palms of your hands together. Pull your elbows into the mat. Feel as though you're pressing your armpits back towards your hips as you work your thumbs in towards the nape of your neck there. Finding a little bounce. Keep the sensation of pulling back with the elbows. Sit bones towards the heels. And after one more breath, gently releasing, bringing the hands out in front. Pick up the forehead as you look towards the thumbs. Rise up onto the fingertips, draw the chin in, and pull the fingers all the way back towards you, finding yourself kneeling. You can from here then change your seat. You might like to have your legs crossed, your legs out, but for me I'm going to choose kneeling. I'm going to think about now all the little movements that we can do for the wrist. So if you can, you're going to make yourself as comfortable in your seat as possible, then interlace your fingers, begin to rotate your wrists. We'll go three times one way, and then we'll change and go three times the opposite way. If you can, you'll do three little waves. And then bring your hands in front of your heart. Then open your hands out away from each other. Try to get your elbows now and squeeze them in by your side body, super gluing them in. Can you bring your thumbs in towards your palms and curl your fingers around your thumbs so you're isolating the movement of your wrists. So you gently begin to rotate your wrists three times one way and three times the opposite way. As soon as you've completed, you're going to lengthen your arms out away from you. Then you're going to flick out through your fingers five times and then the same again five times. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. And from here, can you open your arms out into a wide T? And then gently you're going to cross your right arm all the way over your left and give yourself a great big hug. So trying to really hug the shoulder blades if you can. Make sure the neck is happy, chin is in, spine is long. Open the arms all the other way and then gently crossing the left arm over the right. Give yourself a great big hug. Eventually opening the arms all the out again and then this time can you just cross the right forearm over the left, turn the palms together, interlace the fingers, try to press your knuckles out away from you and this might be enough for you or you might like to go further by gently bending the elbows and drawing the thumbs and the knuckles in towards you. Stay with this one or stretch the knuckles all the other way from you. Gently bend the elbows as you draw the knuckles back in. Straighten the elbows as you press the knuckles out of the way. Release the interlace. Open the hands all the other way. Rotate the palms. Turn the palms forward, cross the left forearm over the right, turn the palms together, interlace the fingers, reach the knuckles out away from you. So feeling how that action broadens the shoulder blades. You can stay with that one, or if you like, you can begin to bend the elbows, work the knuckles in towards you, and then reach the knuckles out away from you, straightening the elbows. And that again is not for everyone, so see how you go. Then gently the elbows bend, you bring the knuckles back in, you reach the knuckles out away from you, release the fingers, open the hands out away from each other, rotate the palms, can you bring the thumbs in towards the palms and curl the fingers around the thumbs, can you then begin to turn the fist down, then gently begin to bend the elbows as you move the knuckles towards each other, 
and then see now if you can note the position of the elbows and the shoulders and the wrists and try to keep them level. And from here, without allowing the thumbs to disconnect away from the palms, can you bring the backs of the wrists together? And again, try to squeeze the armpits towards each other and then in the direction of the hips. Just taking a moment there. And then ever so gently releasing the fingers, raising the arms up, interlacing the fingers as you press the palms up towards the ceiling, pull the front ribs in, push down with the sitting bones, neck is nice and free, upper arms are in line with the ears. And then eventually, draw the palms of the hands together, work the thumbs towards the heart, rest the hands onto the thighs or the knees, relax the shoulders, soften the face, and maybe you might like to close the eyes as you turn the head to look towards the right. And then turn the head to look to the center, and then gently turn the head to look to the left. Turn the head to look to the center, and if you can, without lifting the shoulders, just drop the right ear towards the right shoulder. Keep the chin in, face is soft. Chin down towards the chest. Two breaths there. Before you work the left ear towards the left shoulder. Keep the chin in, drop the shoulders. And when you've finished, one more breath. Work the head right back to the centre. You might like to open the eyes and as you take your hands down onto the mat, push into your hands, begin to raise your knees and shins away from the floor. Pull back with your fingers. Allow your head to look in front so you've arrived in half lift and then from there into Uttanasana, so folding forwards, belly to thighs, chest to knees, forehead to shins, maybe take hold of the elbows in front of the shins you might just like to gently sway from side to side. Eventually finding stillness in the centre. And then taking your time to work your hands into your back pocket. So sliding them in, push down with your sitting bones, weight in your heels, chin is in. And then gently begin to peel your belly away from your thighs. As you roll your spine up, one vertebrae at a time. The head is the last thing to move up. And then once you're fully upright, you might just like to take hold of your belt. And once you've got hold of your belt, you might just like to wrap it around the palm, palms, maybe two or three times. You want to have your belt nice and tight. And perhaps you're going to have your belt as wide as your arms or maybe a little bit narrower. So just see how you feel. The most important thing is that you don't allow the belt to go loose. And before we begin, we'll just check the feet. So the feet are about hips width apart. There's a gentle bend in the knees. The front ribs are in. The shoulders are over the hips. Then you're going to reach your hands all the way up towards the ceiling. Wrists are slightly forward at the shoulders. Then you're going to drop your hands all the way down. You're going to reach your hands all the way up. Then drop your hands all the way down. One more round. Finishing when the arms are reached up into the air. And then if you can, you're going to see now if it's possible for you to reach your arms all the way back behind you. Try not to let the elbows bend. And then lift the arms all the way back up again. Reach the arms all the way back behind. Keep the chin in. Front ribs are in. All the way back up with the arms. Last time then at your own rhythm. Your own pace. Reach the arms all the way back out in front. Wrists are slightly forward of the shoulders. And then if you can, you're going to move your arms all the way over towards the left, opening up the right side of your body, making sure the neck is comfortable. All the way back to the center, and then all the way over to the right. Make sure the elbows aren't bending, the belt is staying nice and tight. All the way back to the center. Again, to the left if you can. Making any adjustments, you might want to tighten the belt. Back to the centre. And then last time at your own rhythm, your own pace. To the right. 
to the center and then to the left and then back to the center and then see can you put all those movements together now you might want to adjust your belt I'm going to make mine a little bit tighter now so just see how you go we'll move to the left first so we reach our arms all the way to the left we move our arms back behind us all the way to the right and then out in front so we go to the left again back behind to the right and then out in front one more round at your own rhythm and your own pace as soon as you've finished your final one just pause with the belt in front and then reach the arms all the way to the right back behind to the left and in front again moving to the right back behind to the left and in front last round at your own rhythm and your own pace as soon as you're finished your final one then releasing your belt bring it all the way back behind you now if you can and again just making your adjustments this time the belt is going to be maybe shoulder um, width apart so just see how you go and then if you can you're just dropping your belt down towards um, the backs of your legs there keeping the belt nice and tight squeeze the shoulder blades together as you begin to lift the belt away from your legs there lifting it up into the air then relaxing it all the way back down and then try that again so lifting it all the way up squeezing the shoulder blades together and then relaxing it back down again last time then at your own rhythm and your own pace eventually releasing it back down you can place your belt off to one side now and if you can you're going to bring yourself all the way forward to the front of your mat check that the outer edges of your feet are parallel to the outer edges of your mat have a gentle bend in your knees drop your sitting bones work the backs of your wrists together reaching your arms up and then slowly folding forward so belly to the thighs pull back with the fingers as you look in front relax the shoulders out of the ears then gently draw the chin in chest to knees forehead to shins crown of head to toes pause there then gliding the right leg all the way back behind drop it to the mat step the left foot all the way back to join it and then if you can draw the chin in press the crown of the head forward push into the hands the arms are perpendicular to the floor upper back is rounding front ribs are in push out through the heels Santonasana, high plank strong arms strong legs pausing here then relax the knees onto the mat Work the hips right back towards the heels, forehead towards the floor, reach the hands back behind and if you can you're going to interlace the fingers, squeeze the shoulder blades together. You can have the wrists together or the wrists apart. Wrists together is a little bit more tricky and as you squeeze the shoulder blades together can you lift your thumbs away from your bottom. Pausing there. After one more breath, relax your thumbs right back down and then reinterlace your fingers in the non-habitual way again that action of squeezing the shoulder blades together pressing the knuckles away from you and lifting the thumbs away from your bottom one more round of breath before you gently release your thumbs all the way back down Bring your hands onto your mat, press into your hands, draw your chin in and roll your spine all the way upwards. Once you find that you've rolled all the way up, then take your time to make yourself comfortable either kneeling or cross-legged. And in your own time then, relax your shoulders out of your ears, draw your chin in towards your throat, close your eyes. Bringing your hands together. Counting two more breaths. And for now, I'll say goodbye and thanks for watching. Namaste.